Can we make it to Grand Junction and back 500 miles on one tank of fuel while towing a small trailer? Let's find out. All right, guys, we have the Chevy 2500 heavy duty with the Duramax. Andre's letting me hijack the truck channel once again because Case and I are on our way down to Grand Junction to pick up two Honda motorcycles, gas powered bikes, and we figured we'd do a little MPG loop on the way down. So right now, we're topping off the truck. That way we can reset the trip computer, do all the math, and get you an MPG number as to uh, what this truck will do with the Duramax. So the truck has a standard bed. We're gonna put one of the bikes in the bed and then I brought my trailer here. It's a really tiny five by eight cargo trailer. We'll put another one in there. Uh, we probably could get two bikes into the truck, but we have no idea what bikes we're even picking up. So we figured we'd be safe, rather be safe than sorry and have more space than we need. All right, so we got our first click, waited 30 seconds. Now we'll just do one more, top it off, make sure we're all the way at a full tank. And there we go. This truck has a 34 gallon tank. It's 253 miles from this gas station out to the Honda dealership in Grand Junction. So we're right over 500 miles round trip. Andre did this once before uh, and he got 19.9 .9 MPG. Range should be somewhere around 580 miles. So we'll see if we can do this trip in one tank with the bike in the bed and another one in the trailer. All right, here we go, resetting the trip computer. We're all zeroed out, ready to go. Got our uh, navigation set. 253 miles till we get to the dealership. Let's hit the road. So we made it to the Johnson and Eisenhower tunnels. We're about to come down the hill. We've got two different mountain passes we're going through on this journey and we're doing them twice. Uh, so this one right here and then we have to climb up and over Vail Pass as well. So not the easiest challenge for this truck. We're also kind of ruining the aerodynamics pulling this trailer even though it is pretty tiny. We also have somewhat of an aggressive off-road-ish tire on this truck. So bunch of things working against the truck um, but so far the truck's doing really well this diesel this Duramax diesel is so quiet you can barely hear it it sounds like a gas here uh, and yeah comfortable truck we've got adaptive cruise control I've got forward collision warning heated seats air conditioned seats all the luxuries you would need pretty cool uh, camera rear view mirror 76,620 bucks for this truck so you'd expect it to have all those tech features and it's nice driving down the road definitely makes road trips a little bit easier i interrupt your video for this week's tfl bids bargain this site is focused on selling really cool trucks and off-road suvs and this time it's a super truck this brand new 2021 ram trx with 248 miles on the clock it has it all the supercharged v8 engine with 702 horsepower these new trx's are very hard to find but it's right here at tflbids.com use the link in the description of this video down below check it out and also you can submit your truck or off-road suv for sale using that submit a vehicle button thank you Okay, so right now we've gone 68.2 miles and we're only getting 10.3 miles per gallon according to the trip computer in the truck. That's not gonna cut it if we wanna do this in one trip. Yes, we're doing a lot of uphill climbs right now. Hopefully that evens out going back downhill, but not looking good so far. We'll check in in a little bit. Alright, so 256.3 miles later, according to the trip computer, we're pulling up to Perry's Power Sports, which is the Honda dealer here in Grand Junction. Uh, and it's saying we got 13 miles per gallon on the trip computer. We are pulling a trailer. I know this trailer is light work for this truck. Uh, like I said, it really, it weighs nothing. So uh, we'll have a little bit of a harder test on the way back up once we get the two bikes loaded up. So we're gonna go pick up the bikes. Let's cue the time-lapse of us loading up the bikes and get back on the road.
today we're hooking the trailer up to this, the Gen Y Rebel Hitch. This has a 7,000 pound capacity, so we're well within our limits using this hitch. It's constructed really cool too. You have some adjustability so you can drop it up or down. You can also flip this ball upside down. We're using the two inch ball today, but overall a really solid piece from Gen Y. All right, here we go. Same gas station, 261 miles, another four hours and 18 minutes. Start the route, Let's see what the truck will do. So we hit a sea of red. Not good. Never what you want to see on a road trip, especially on the way back. Uh, it looks like I-70 eastbound is completely closed. So we have to take a little detour. That's definitely not helping our, uh, our miles to the gallon. We're at 96 miles of range right now with 139 miles of distance remaining and we're burning fuel, creeping along at zero miles an hour, so. Not looking good, what can you do? All right, here we go, back on the highway. A little bit of a detour, um, but not too bad. And we'll be cruising again. There was a little bit of an accident and definitely didn't help our, uh, our fuel economy just sitting and burning diesel going zero miles an hour, but Nothing you can do about that, keep on cruising. Fuel level low, gas light just came on, 46 miles of range remaining, and over 100 miles to go, so we definitely have to fill up. You know, I'm not used to driving a diesel. Case who's behind the camera is used to dri driving a diesel, and I gotta say, it's a little stressful running the tank down to empty and then thinking you can go to the next station, but I don't know if they're even gonna have a diesel, so something to think about. Definitely not used to that. Yeah, and our uh, range just went from telling us we had 30 miles left to low, so we have no idea how much range we actually have. No, I don't like that either. I'd much prefer a number, and I think somewhere around like 35, 30 miles remaining, it just switched to low. Three gas stations later, we found one with diesel, so pull up to the pump and figure out our numbers. All right, so the trip computer's saying 439.2 miles. That's the distance from the station we started at in Boulder to the dealership in Grand Junction, and then back to this station here in Frisco. So truck saying 12.6 uh, miles to the gallon. Let's uh, fill the truck up with gas and see what the pump says. So it's gonna cut me off at 100 bucks. It's at 27 gallons right now and uh, we need to get to probably right about 30, 31 gallons. So I think we're gonna have to double swipe this one. There we go, there's the first fill up, $100 and 27.785 gallons. So we'll swipe again and then we'll add this to whatever the second number is to get our total gallons used. All right, here we go, last click. And there's our number, 5.667. We'll add that to the first number. And there's our total gallons used, 33.452. All right, so 439.2 miles divided by that 33.452, and that's gonna give us 13.1 miles per gallon. So not a bad result. Hunter A definitely got a lot better when he was doing this test, but we have two bikes and a trailer. Um, so yeah, there's an idea of what kind of fuel economy you're gonna get out of a Chevy 2500 Duramax diesel towing not a lot of weight, but still putting it to good use. Here we are on the Ike Gauntlet going uphill back towards the tunnels. I was hoping that this part would be part of the MPG loop, but um, 
Yeah, we didn't make it that far. And yeah, 13.1 MPG, not nearly as good as Andre got when he tested this truck. But remember, that was unladen, and today we had weight with us. We were actually using the truck to work, and we were going over multiple mountain passes and really putting the truck, uh, putting the truck through some good tests. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to head on over to tfltruck.com so you don't miss any news in the truck world. And also TFL Bike, check out our YouTube channel if you want to see some videos with these two motorcycles we've just picked up. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.